Will we see the gold walls return in the new series? Wow, buddy. We're just talking about you. All good. Where are they now? What are they doing? And did they ever really lose power? Or did they just switch tactics with a new alliance? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. The Gorwald were a brilliant symbiotic villain. They were brilliant partly because they could hide so easily. They were so clever. They were so maniacally evil. While not really being evil for the sake of being evil in a way. But if I succeeded, the Ori would have lost interest in being on their merry way. You were going to save the galaxy by destroying pretty much everyone in it. They just genuinely believe they deserve to be our masters. They were borderline psychotic at times. Anubis generally tried to kill all of life. Even Thanos only tried to kill half of us. I am inevitable. So the Gold were a brilliant villain, but now they are defeated. The, si the system lords are all gone. They were basically defeated by SG-1 repeatedly, and then the Replicators, and then the Ori. Much of their technology was then used by the Lucian Alliance and others, and their empire fell into ruin. So where are they now? Well, there are, apparently, a bunch of gold on Earth, running major corporations and big businesses, watched over by the NID. These... Gold continue their lust for wealth and power, just using our capitalistic system to do it. To be honest, I can sit here and think of several top executives that probably would be Gold. One of them owns uh, now. Yeah, he might be a Gold. But to be honest, the decline of the system lords had started probably before SG-1 really got involved. Obviously, they defeated Ra. And then they defeated Apophis like five or six times. But as we got to know the system lords better, people like Emperor Yu, who was already in serious decline, he was just basically so old and been in the sarcophagus so many times, he basically got a gold version of dementia. And apparently the gold were actually eating other symbionts to try and extend their own lives. We found out that actually there'd been zero population growth within the gold for some time. They were a species already decaying, already dying out. We just helped them along a little bit. As I say, though, it was really the battle with the replicators that completely annihilated them. Even though we then defeated them using the super weapon at Dakara, their forces were massively depleted by the end of that conflict. A lot of their systems had already fallen, and the Lucian Alliance had already started to get a foothold in those areas. This band of smugglers and criminals and ex-slaves had started to group together and form this alliance. They'd already started to acquire a lot of gold technology, and really it was the power vacuum left behind as the system lords fell one by one that gave them the power to actually become a threat within the galaxy. Then the Ori invasion just finished off anything the gold had left, Baal being one of the final system lords to fall. But as we are expecting a return to the Stargate universe in a new movie and then hopefully series, where do we think the gold are now? Are they still just hiding on Earth and around the galaxy? Well, I would have thought the Jaffa nation would have a little bit to say about that. The Jaffa have been enslaved by the gold for thousands of years. And they're not very happy about it. Now they have found their freedom and dismissed the old gods. I could see them as they organize themselves, as they really become a power within the galaxy themselves, that they would probably seek some kind of retribution. That any gold out there that was still sort of being sneaky, they would probably try to hunt them down. Almost like Europe following World War II, where the Nazis were hunted down and put on trial. I could see the Jaffa demanding the same thing. If there were gold 
on earth lording it up pretending to be all big and powerful bosses of certain conglomerates elon i actually think they would turn up and demand those gold be arrested and demand those gold be put on trial that's if they allow it to go to trial because they might just demand that they're and killed instantly but like we saw in a couple of episodes of sg1 where teal turned upon planets and then was actually blamed for the crimes he'd committed while apophis was his master perhaps the jaffa would then demand similar retribution i can see that the jaffa nation alone has probably by now hunted the gold to the point of extinction but there is one thing that i've always wondered how did the lucian alliance build up so much power so quickly they actually became a threat to the tauri now i know they had more ships they basically acquired all of that gold technology and they learned to use it really quickly the gold traditionally had kept their human slaves down on their knees refusing to allow them to even believe that their technology was anything more than magic but the lucian alliance had learned how to use much of this technology very very quickly they were using all of the ships they were using all of the transports they were using things like the scanning technology that was used to target and then track sg1 they attacked the icarus base and were successful they attacked destiny and were successful they were planning to attack earth and really were nearly successful they'd used gold brainwashing technology on telford and had got away with it it was only really through luck that we defeated them how did the lucian alliance get so formidable so quickly was it just because of the power vacuum left behind by the gold world or is it maybe that there was actually a shadowy force behind the lucian alliance the gold world as we've already said can hide in plain sight how do we know the gold world didn't just switch tactic now there's actually an old story that the roman empire here on earth never fell it just got bored of being attacked all the time so turned itself into the catholic church and continued to rule europe for another thousand years i'm wondering if the gold world did something similar they were knew they were under attack they knew they were threatened they knew their enemies were at the doors so they reinvented themselves they stepped behind the curtain and they became the lucian alliance perhaps that's how the lucian alliance got so formidable so quickly that's how they seem to be able to use gold technology like masters that's how they were able to get so much intelligence for example knowing where the icarus base was in the first place obviously that was telford but you know what i mean i'm wondering are the gold actually still a major power in the universe we just know them as the lucian alliance now it's a thought so guys tell me what you think would the gold world now be at the point of extinction could they actually still be a threat remembering how just damn intelligent and bloody evil they were or actually or actually is it possible that they're still our puppet masters but this time they've stepped behind the curtain and they're actually playing with the strings of maybe the lucian alliance i wonder get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think and i'd also love to know when stargate returns will we see the gold world again tell me what you think if you are new to the channel please like subscribe hit that bell notification it really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos also you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first and for a small contribution each month that really supports the channel you get to see them a day before everyone else and without the adverts on youtube can't say fairer than that you can also go to sidetrack.co.uk which is our dedicated website and we do articles based on most of our videos and we try and add a little bit more information for you to digest go and check it out as always please stay safe and i'll see you next time